Hi everybody. <clears throat> it says that the live video is starting and we are live. Hello everyone. My name is Beck Sahasrara. Today I'm here to help you as a woman come into the power of your eternal fire within. There is a holy spark of the feminine within you. It is a deep, rich, potent power that you are here to claim. You are done holding yourself back. You are done. You are done limiting yourself in your voice, in your truth, all of those things. I really wanted to talk with everybody about this today because what I'm channeling right now is the goddess Isis. Isis is actually, when you look at the language of it, is, is, is. Because she, the feminine, is the isness of the world. It is the isness of the universe. And this is why one reason that women carry such a strong connection to truth. And that your truth and being able to activate truth, being able to hold truth, being able to speak truth fearlessly. It's at the core of everything. It's at the core of the way that you want to level up in your business, in your relationships, in your purpose. When you hold back the truth, when you're holding back the truth, you're holding back a part of yourself. And when you can witness the truth and you can receive it and take it in, you're letting yourself receive and take in life. And life just is. Life just is, and that is the isness of the feminine. At her core, she's a carrier of truth because you are that first emanation of the God force. Everything is birthed through the feminine first. So when you are holding back your truth, you're really holding back like the purest essence of who and what you are. And the being Isis is a essence a being a multidimensional loving energy a consciousness that is within you now that all women contain that reflects this isness of life she is the holiest part of you and you are meant to lead your life from that part of yourself you are meant to lead your life with Isis coming up and out of your throat and coming up and out of your body and permeating all of your experience now when we as women are here and we are going through a lot of different situations in this life in this world where we're really navigating how to stop limiting because the feminine injury one of the core things there is simply our suppression of what we innately are it is a limiting a holding back that we have been living through and that you've been permeating and perpetuating through your own experience and through your negative beliefs that you hold and continue to keep keeping them because you feel like you need them or they make you feel smaller which makes you feel safer okay this is one of the core things that women do and um the isis within you is the opposite energy of that isis within you is no i am big i am huge i am raw i am authentic i just am within that just I amness or just isness. She is those archetypal qualities of the feminine that we can touch on and we can explore. Um, we can think about the Kali goddess who creates destruction and she creates new worlds and birthing through her cycles of death. We can think about the mother that nurtures and builds up. We can think about the sexual, sensual part of ourselves and expression, the beauty. All of these are just aspects of that isness that you are and I feel really called to speak with all of you about this today because this is such a rich time in human history for women to come into their highest potential uh, Isis who I'm hearing and feeling right now um, she wants you to really recognize and take back the crown and take back the throne that you have misplaced in this world and that has caused you not wearing it a lot of women, we put it to the side. You put that to the side. But you are here to lead from that place. You're here to lead from you, the rawest essence of you. And making our way home 
to being able to embody your voice, your truth, your true sound, Isis, within. That is the initiation of the feminine. Everything else, all the other different expressions that can come through it, like confidence and self-love, abundance, all of these things, they are at their root connected to you being able to embody your voice, which is that the feminine initially was a sound in this universe. It was an emanation, a, just a, a, a low rumbling nothingness. It wasn't form. And then came the charge of the masculine spark. There's more complex metaphysics in that and it's really cool. But that's why we talk about the voice in the feminine. And there's so many things about the voice in the feminine rites and initiations because when you get it back, everything else unfolds through that. And I know for me that finding that voice was a journey. Um, it's also something particular to my life path. I feel that I fought to have my voice and you may have felt the same way you have fought to have your voice. You might already be using your voice, but you might know and sense that there is a deeper level that wants to come through you. There's a deeper initiation of the high priestess, um, this archetype of intuition and pure channel for ve a vessel for truth, rawness in it that is trying to come through you and trying to come through all women and the earth right now. And it is highly, highly needed. And if you are a leader in your life or in, in your business, you have to be able to hold that tone to get to where you want to go and to speak to the people that you came here to speak to. And yeah, in, in my life, finding that voice and finding and turning off the inner control mechanisms of self punishment and self like over regulating self criticism, all of these things, finding them was the the pathway to unlocking that voice. It was a huge part of it. Um, the feminine is here to express herself. You're here to really deeply, deeply, deeply be yourself and then unfold that into the world. And in our lives as women, we have been like trained the opposite to go like, like this, you know, and again, even if you're, if you're a woman who, especially talking to the women who are, um, on the work and on the path already, but you know that there's a, like a richer, deeper tone of you, a version of you that has more authority and more leadership that's trying to come through that it may be more direct, that may be more, um, even have a slight tone of masculinity in it, but that's really just the purity, the purity of the voice that wants to come through. We have been trained to particularly suppress that aspect of us. And yet at the same time, it is the guardian, the keeper of your Isis channel, your Isis power. It is the guardian and the keeper of your true expression here in this life, which unfolds into your true intuition, your true magic, all of these amazing, amazing things. And this initiation point that we are all in right now, we are being asked to level up. We're being asked to step up into a new version of ourselves. Uh, many, many, many people on this planet right now are feeling a concentration, um, uh, almost like you cannot get away from it, of this call to self-leadership and leveling up in the world and that is happening because of planetary dynamics and the point of ascension that we are in right now there's a reason that's been called the year of the dragon and i'm speaking to what women are going through at this time uh, you will be called into basically being unable to not be your true self anymore and that will show up in your relationships it will show up in your business and you're going to be called into that next level of your your business or your soul mission and you're not going to be able to like argue with it or you know keep saying no to it or putting your head in the sand you're going to be absolutely almost forced i don't like using the word force but almost forced pressurized into actually stepping into her and becoming her now like right now um and if you are listening to this and that resonates with you, you are particularly who I'm speaking to. 
how we come into our voice is a pathway it is a journey it is a feminine rite of initiation and it is the area and focus and specialty of the being that we might call isis as i said she is alive in you and you're here to embody her and then this is also going to root into your life it's going to root and expand into your soul wealth and abundance it's going to root and expand into your self-love your ability to communicate and have your needs and desires met in your relationships your ability to stand tall in the face of um, what might appear as destruction but really change in your life loss shifts all these things where we can become wobbly what if you didn't become wobbly anymore what if you were really held in this steadiness of the priestess of the isis within you uh, i certainly have been going through a lot of these initiations at the moment uh, in the last year or so and i really want to invite and call in women who are maybe experiencing the same thing and what if you don't have to do that alone as well uh, i know for me and my sister relationships we've had a lot of talk and um, mirroring each other of having to level up and that pressurizing that's happening as uh, particularly in business or service uh, particularly in relationships and essentially creating the life that you truly desire and that you truly came here to live and you can only do that when you've shed the layers of the inauthentic self and the inauthentic voice and you're able to lead communicate act from that voice within and it's been a very intense time and i at the same time love it because it's calling in a new version of me, a new empowered version of me, and so you as well. And with that in mind, I wanted to invite anybody who is watching, if you are a woman who is in business but wants to go, knows that you have another level to go to, knows that there is an Isis within you calling to be born through you. You know that she's there, but maybe you felt a bit like unsure of how to do that exactly. Maybe you've tried and stopped a few times. Maybe it's felt like I have this feeling inside, but I keep running into these little fearful parts of me. Or your voice has felt stifled by others in other relationships and you haven't known how to break free of that, how to handle that. Um, if you want to call in the next level and version of you, who is way more free, way more confident, way more sexually alive and essentially be the magnetic woman who is in her vibe, I invite you to join the circle of Isis. This is a beautiful offering that came through me from Isis for the fearless feminine leaders or if you desire to become a fearless feminine leader. Uh, this is called Circle of Isis because it's going to create an energetic field of potency, an energetic field of transformation between the beautiful women who come into this space. It's a highly limited, uh, high level mastermind container. So if it does resonate with you, you'll want to message me really soon, um, even now, because we only have approximately four spots. And that is to keep it really tight and really, really magnetized to you becoming that new version of you. And so you get a highest level of guidance that you can possibly have. And we're going to be channeling Isis through that field together. I'm going to be channeling Isis and she is going to take you through different rites of initiation that support this new version of you and that new embodiment of your voice and your Isis within you that you are here to be. That, that amazing priestess, goddess, woman who holds her magnetism so strongly and richly. She knows who she is. She feels it. She lives it. It's natural. It's organic. She is confident, but it's not like this fake confidence. It's like, la la la, I need attention. Confidence is often quiet. Confidence is the steadiness 
that sensation of steadiness within you. It is a sensation also of freedom within you, the freedom to express, the freedom to know your value and then you express. You know who you are and you know your value, you know your worth. And so you hold that position in relationships, in service, in business, in your communication, all of these things. And the thing is with that is that it makes you powerfully magnetic. This is what is meant by the magnetic woman and the feminine power to be magnetic. Uh, so I really want to invite just some beautiful four women, just four women. If you are hearing this and it really resonates with you, come send me a message because this is going to be for a limited time. The space is available and then we're going to get started. And I'm just really excited about it because the whole purpose of it is to create such a concentrated field of energetic magic that you will have essentially energetically, there'll be no choice but for you to transform into that new version of you. And how great is that to also have support through that transformation as well? Because I know that you are probably doing it just with yourself or maybe with sisters, but if you want to get to that next level, this is where mentorship and contained spaces can really, really change your life. And I know that from personal experience, um, the investments that you make towards yourself, they return to you tenfold because you are nurturing through your own feminine magnetism. So if this sounds good to you, send me a message. And also let me know in the comments below, anybody who's watching, if this resonates for you, if you felt that pressurizing this year and what are your highest goals or highest vision for that next version of you who fully embodies their truth okay as always i'm sending love to everybody who is watching so that everybody knows i have this four person only high level mastermind only open for a limited time circle of isis I also offer one-on-one -on -one powerful, potent soul consultation sessions. These are one-off, super limited, um, really powerful containers to create transformation and so much more. So send me a message and have a beautiful day.